And Maribel, we continue to see that Zeta is dumping a lot of rain across the southeast and now actually pushing in across the Carolinas and the Mid-Atlantic. It is moving very quickly, though, racing to the northeast here at 48 miles per hour, currently 100 miles northeast of Asheville, North Carolina. Max sustained winds have been decreasing 50 miles an hour, but still the potential for very gusty winds here. And that's the reason why we're seeing those tropical storm warnings are continuing for parts of Georgia as well as South and North Carolina. Zeta is expected to continue moving northward and eventually become a non-tropical gale force low as it pushes offshore and heads out into the northern Atlantic. Now there is another area that we're monitoring in the southwestern Caribbean. An area of low pressure is forecast to develop and the National Hurricane Center is giving this a medium potential of development. So of course we'll keep an eye on that system. But in the meantime it's a beautiful albeit hot day out there as we look from our Biscayne Bay camera downtown Miami. Look at the blue skies from our Windjammer Resort camera looking stunning. Still dealing with some rough surf because we have that onshore flow out of the southeast so just be aware there is still a high risk of rip currents. The radar is quiet in Broward and Dade. Earlier we had a few showers here and there and we'll zoom on down to the lower keys where there is a batch of showers just beginning to move away from Kojo Key. The wind out of the south, southeast 10, 17 miles an hour. Temperatures already in the mid to upper 80s and it feels like the hundreds in some spots because it is so steamy out there. 100 degrees is what it feels like in Fort Lauderdale, 101 in Marathon and elsewhere it feels like the mid to upper 90s. And today we are going to see those highs climb to around 90. A little hotter today, even hotter tomorrow. And for you boaters, no advisories. Wind southeast 10 to 50 knots, seas 2 to 3, a light chop on the base for tonight. There could be some stray showers. Summer muggies are low still in the upper 70s. And don't forget this Saturday night, it will be a special treat in the sky for us. A perfect setting with that Halloween full moon, the blue moon, the second full moon in October. It's also known as a hunter's moon, a rare sight really on Halloween occurs about every 18 to 19 years. And as we head into Halloween, we have the first of two fronts. So although hot and humid today, tomorrow, temperatures will drop a little bit because the front is going to stall out on Saturday. And then as we head into Monday, a stronger windy cold front is going to lower our humidity and bring us autumn like air just in time for election day. But we have to get through the next few days for Halloween, not as hot 86. And then of course, turning those clocks back in our Saturday night, we fall back 85 Sunday, 84 Monday, windy and turning cooler later. Could see lows in the 60s in the morning by election day on Tuesday and highs in the upper 70s. Maribel.